Albanese here, and today I am going to share with you the truth about wearing stripes. Now, I know many of you have heard the general style rule claiming that vertical stripes make you look slimmer and sometimes taller, and horizontal stripes make you look wider, sometimes bigger than you are. Well, what if I told you that those style rules are a myth? I mean, yes, now many times vertical stripes can make you look slimmer and taller, but sometimes they can also distort your figure. And same with horizontal stripes. Sometimes they can be really flattering and sometimes not so much. The truth is, all stripes should not be created equal. We all have very different body types and heights and what may work for one person may not work for the other and that is the only real truth with stripes. Yeah. It's nothing really about all vertical stripes are slimming and all horizontal stripes make you look bigger. It's just not true. So today I am going to share some examples with you to prove that vertical and horizontal stripes should not be judged anymore and it's all about the person wearing them rather than the stripes themselves. Wide place vertical stripes are the trickiest in all the vertical stripe family because it's the negative space in between each stripe that can distort your figure and might make parts of your body look wider than they are. Let's take this dress for instance. This worked for me because the stripes are going right down the center of my body and the solid color on the side is creating a shadow so it kind of blends the side of my thighs and my waist. That is why I was drawn to this dress. The lines are towards the center of my body which causes the eye to go up and down. This next look is a red and white dress that I wore to a recent photo shoot. Now I adore and love this dress so much but I noticed when I was looking straight at myself or when my photographer took a photo of me looking straight to camera, I looked wider than I was. So this is a perfect example of showing you vertical stripes can section out your body making the eye look out rather than up and down. But I didn't care, I wore the dress anyways but you will see on my Instagram I only posted photos of me turning three quarter or to the side because that was the most flattering angle. Now let's take this blue and white pinstripe dress for my next example. Smaller stripes are universally the easiest stripe to pull off because there's less space in between each stripe so that you don't have to worry about distorting your figure. And when you wear a dress like this with tiny stripes, it kind of blurs the eye and the stripes kind of follow along the natural lines of your body and is always flattering no matter what your size. Horizontal stripes. Pretty much the hell no for most people in the print family, but I promise you, you can style these stripes to your advantage no matter what your body size. Let's take widely spaced horizontal stripes. You can actually use the negative space of these stripes to your advantage to help minimize and define certain body parts. Let's take this black and white stripe dress. For me, this was really flattering because I don't have a really defined waist and here the stripes hit me at that perfect part just below my waist and at the top just under my bust. So the way these stripes hit this black negative of space, it makes it look like I have a more shaped and defined waist. Who knew? This is a perfect example of how you can cheat curves with fashion. And horizontal stripes, who knew? Now here's a dress with teeny tiny horizontal stripes. Teeny tiny horizontal stripes are the easiest stripes to wear because they kind of blur together. I mean, in all honesty, that's really what they do. So they don't highlight any specific area of your body. They actually just kind of graze and blend along your figure. Wide stripes. Now I know a lot of you guys are really scared about this, but I'm telling you, you can pull it off. So if you're a little unsure, I would go for dresses that are A-line. That means it's fitted either in the bust or in the waist and then it slightly flares out in an A-shape. This way you have a nice fit in your bust and then it just grazes over the curves. And honestly, if you're still not sure about horizontal stripes, just get on board. They're so cute to wear. Now, if I still haven't sold you on wearing horizontal stripes, you might want to try a dress that has structure. A structured dress like this will nip and tuck in all the right places so that it helps to balance out your proportions. This video was really to inspire you to forget those general archaic style rules. Stop judging stripes. 
start wearing them. For me, they are the hierarchy when it comes to prints. They are number one. They are classic, yet bold and chic, sophisticated. They are all the things, no matter what your style sensibility. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so right now. I hope that I proved to you guys that the only number one component in pulling off stripes is you and having the confidence to wear it. And uh, I'll see you next week. Bye everyone.